want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah Kudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, want to acknowledge the Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, so. Through the Spirit, I'm reading Isaiah 42 and 1. It says, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my Spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. All right. So, right there. Who does Yahweh delight in? Is that he delights in his elect? All right, he doesn't. He doesn't delight in the two thirds, the heathen. Only his elect. Okay, and that's who he puts his spirit on. Starts out with his his uh, his one four four K, his prophets, right? <clears throat> Verse two: He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Hold up, Salakia. All right, Salakia. It says, He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench he shall bring forth judgment unto truth <clears throat> all right verse 4 he shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law so there it is you know yahweh is going to set his standards set his judgments set 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 you know set his vibration on the earth and it starts out with his prophets we're pushing that vibration on the earth uh you know uh, the, the vibration of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai that's why world war three is is uh, you know right around the corner you know lord's will and we know that the uh, the mark of the beast has to come out first but you know these nations i was just looking on uh, youtube and there's articles videos popping up left and right on uh, you know what's going on with Vladimir Putin in Russia and NATO right <clears throat> which the United States is part of NATO so everything it, it, you know is <coughs> is getting put into place for this whole thing to pop off and if you're a man of the Lord this is what we want you know this is what we want it says in verse 4, He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth. The owls wait for his law. Thus saith the Most High, Yahweh, that he created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath into the people upon it and the spirit to them that walk therein. And I don't know for sure if in Isaiah there's the word God right here on verse 5. It, it, it could, there's a possibility, and brothers can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, that could, it could say Elohim. Because we, we know that the Elohim created the, the heaven or the, the earth. At the, you know, the earth was, took part in the creation. Yahweh spoke it. You know, he created the first spirit, Yahweh Shai. And then. Uh, he gave Yahweh Shai uh, the Elohim, which were the first fruits, the, the first spirits, which are, you know, likened unto the uh, 144,000, the, the, uh, the prophets of Israel, okay? <clears throat> Verse uh, Verse 5. I'm sorry, verse 6. I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. Right, so who, who called us? Yahweh calls us. Right? 
Now we, we know we've been called. Now, now we got to be diligent and endure to the end. This way we know that we're chosen. All right? Verse 7. To open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. And that's talking about the Israelites. The, the ones who are blind and, and that are going to open up their eyes are going to, you know, be... Have that veil lifted off our eyes is going to be the elect. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So this right here, when you read verse 8, it says, I am the Lord, but that's not a name. So that's why you know that Esaidim, he he didn't, you know, he didn't put the true name in the scriptures. You know, you, you got these people running around talking about, oh, he, he has many names, or you can call him whatever you want. He knows your intentions and this and that. But the truth of the matter is, is he has his one name. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, In glory and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. All right, so you you, you got all these, uh, <laughs> these heathen, and the two-thirds, what do they do? They set up graven images, statues and shit. And they, and they go and worship and pray to those things, right? And like I spoke in a few lessons back, you know, when you Google the, the, um, the statues, the largest statues on the planet, which are pretty fascinating because they're fucking ginormous. But when you, when you really start to look into that, you start to realize that all of the heathen nations is where those big ginormous statues are. So the, the Most High has put a... A spirit on uh, the Most High has put a spirit on <coughs> on these heathen to build these ginormous statues. See, <coughs> this is verse uh, nine, which, like I said, a statue is a graven image. Verse uh, nine. It says, Behold, the former things are coming to pass, and the new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right. Like it tells you in Amos 3 and 7, he, he, before he does anything, he gives his secrets unto his prophets. So before he, he performs judgment, you know, before he, he you know, visits the earth, Guess what? He sets up his prophets and he tells he tells us of them and we have the understanding through the Holy Spirit, through the precepts. Verse 10. Sing unto Yahweh a new song and his praise from the end of the earth that ye go down to the sea and that and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. And the new song is this a new this understanding that we have. Because when we were in Christianity, when we were in Catholicism, when we were in uh, you know, some some of the brothers, some of the brothers may have been Muslims. You know, different false doctrines. You know, now we're singing a new song, right? Because we have this new um, understanding, which is it's ancient knowledge, but it's new understanding because of prophecy. The Lord's men are being woke up to the the true knowledge and true true doctrine through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Verse eleven. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitations of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. And that's what we're doing. Remember, mountain is a government. So we're, uh, we're, we're, out, you know, we're out there on the street corners teaching, prophesying, breaking down the scriptures you know, according to knowledge and understanding. And you know we're we're literally in the in the government's you know in in their backyard, which is likened unto like like we always we always tell you that the the governments are are, are likened unto mountains, right? These large governments, right? Um, let me see if I can get this other verse that comes to mind. Let's get Luke brings this into mind. Luke 12 and 3. It says, 
Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear and closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Right. So remember, our people were in darkness. You know, there's 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 lies that they've been taught in darkness. That's what keeps you in darkness. But now we're we're uh, you know we're over here proclaiming upon housetops, upon the housetops, which that's like a metaphor for the being on the streets or or you know in these governments, like it says from the shout from the top of the mountains, right? <coughs> in Isaiah 42, we just read that. The shout from the top of the mountains. Isaiah 42 and 12, it says, Let them give glory unto the unto the Yahweh and declare his praise in the islands. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemy. All right, and who's stirring up the war? Who's stirring up World War III? Yahweh's putting the spirit on all these leaders where there's all these tensions and they're getting ready to war like if you look on the news right now you like on my youtube i just read uh let me let me read it to you real quick there's a there's a uh they're on redacted from two days ago they put one out and the title says preparing for war and it's got a picture of joe biden and vladimir putin right he they're on the on the video and then it says, breaking, NATO and Russia are three months away from full war. You see? So it's, and it's Yahweh who stirs it up, who's stirring up the war. In Proverbs 21 and 1, it says, the king's heart or his mind is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. You see that? So the king, these uh, modern leaders, you know, Putin would consider be considered the king of Russia. Biden would be considered the king of Babylon. So guess what? The Most High has their mind. He's the one who controls their their heart and their mind, which is in Yahweh's hand. He's the one who stirs up these nations, these leaders, to to you know, uh, basically provocate war. All right. Um, no, I had a precept come to mind. Um, Uh, it just went out of my head too. Lord's will will come right back. So anyway, Isaiah 42 and let's see, I'm at 13. I'm going to read it again. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy. <coughs> shall stir up jealousy like a man of war he shall cry yeah roar and he shall prevail against his enemies I have long time holding my peace I have been still and refrained myself now will I cry like a travailing woman I will destroy and devour at once and that's what's talking about with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai visit the earth when all these nations start to go at it you know in the, in the full blown World War 3 missiles being shot Nuclear missiles being shot. Well, guess who's going to enter into that war, into that World War III? Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the angels. All right? Yahweh Shai and the angels, I should say. Right? Um, let's get that precept real quick. Verses Revelation 12 and start at 7. It says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. All right, so Michael the archangel, and, and you know, we don't forget about Yahweh Shai leading the charge. Are going to fight against the dragon and who's the dragon the dragon is that serpent esau edom and then we know that um in the 80s uh what's his name uh, ronald reagan 
he had made a uh, statement saying that, you know, if there was a, an alien threat, that all the nations, you know, that he would hope and he would expect all the nations to uh, join together and, and take on that alien threat or that foreign threat, which he could, because they know the prophecies. And they're basically pleading for the uh, other nations to say, hey, let's stop fighting each other. And we, we're going to, this is that um, war in heaven that, that we spoken of in Revelation 12 and 7. Right? There's also in, in Daniel, let's grab that real quick. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, talking about Michael the archangel. The great prince which standeth for the sons of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, because Jacob's trouble will be, you know, happening, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right? So World War III is, is right upon us, man. It's, it, it's, the only thing we're waiting for is that microchip, micro C hit, to pop off. Right, and you gotta understand, you know, the BRICS nations—they're fucking up the the dollar. <laughs> the the power of the dollar is 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 weaker than it's ever been in the history of the dollar. It's been the currency dominator on the planet Earth, I think, for about you know six, 50 to 60 years, and all of a sudden that dollar is being weakened. You know, you know the BRICS nations. They're, you know, they're going to have their own currency. They're, you know, the Babylon America is putting sanctions on different countries. And when they do that, they only hurt their own pockets. They only hurt their own dollar. So that, why do you think they're going to have war? You see? Um, let me see. Where am I? Isaiah. Isaiah 42 and verse... 14 Oh 15 I will make waste mountains and hills meaning small governments and large governments and dry up all their herbs and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools and that's by the, the nuclear fire um, what is it Hebrews the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is in the missiles. That's what people don't realize. Hebrews 12, 29. Yep. For our power is a consuming fire. All right. In verse 12 and 29 in Hebrews, Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to be in those missiles, spirits of vengeance, right? Like it tells you in Ecclesiasticus, it tells you that the fire is a spirit of vengeance. Isaiah 42, so that's what that nuclear fire is going to be. It's going to be vengeance on the people, on the inhabitants of the earth. Isaiah 42 and um, 16. And I will bring the blind by a, the way that they knew not. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. And these things will I do unto them and not forsake them. And that's talking about the, um, and that's talking about the the elect, right? That's the blind that he's going to open our eyes, and he's already opened up the eyes of the prophets, and some of the elect, you know, has been sealed, you know, the the, the one third, the remnant, right? And I'll stop at seventeen. It says, "They shall be turned back; they shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to molten images, ye are gods." See, you, you over here worshiping, a, praying to a fucking statue. <laughs> and Yahweh's going to, you know, if you're doing that, and these days that we're coming into, you're over there praying to the Virgin Mary statue, like a stupid-ass Catholic. Or you're, you're, you know, you're, like you got people that go to the fucking, uh, they got this place called Mother Cabrini. And uh, over here in Colorado, and it's in the mountains, and people go up there and, and they pray and worship the fucking statue and bow down to the statue and things of that nature which is all it's all foolishness it's all vanity stupid stupidity sottish you know Yahweh says that my people are sottish children which that means stupid children 
So, you know, we see the times. We're measuring the time diligently. You got angels visiting the camps, which is your pa. You know, we've had angels come to our camp. We believe we had angels come to our camp, too, here in Denver. But um, I think the brothers in L.A., they, um, they, they, uh, they had a visit this past weekend, which we all, the men of Yahab Hashem Yosha, we believe that to be a, an angel visiting their camp. And it was, a, it was a beautiful sight to see, you know. Brothers were getting chills. Brothers who are in the, the, the right spirit, we got chills when we watched that video, you know. So the Lord's, you know, and you remember, His angels are, are the Lord. That's His army. You got to remember, the Lord's angels are His army, is His army. So while you got all these heathen nations getting riled up and getting, uh, in, preparing in the spirit of, of, of war, you got Yahweh Hashem Yahshai's angels literally making, making uh, cameos <laughs> at the camps. You see? So everything's everything's getting getting stirred up, right? And you got to remember, it's Yahweh that stirs it up, right? And you know what? Just that precept I forgot just came back to mind. I'll end it on this one. Isaiah 45 and 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. All right? So Yahweh, evil means a bad time. World War III, which is going to be fought with nuclear missiles, that's going to be a bad time for a lot of people, which another word for a bad time, like I say, evil. Those are going to be evil times, which means bad times. World War III is not going to be a, a walk in the park for majority of these inhabitants of the earth, right? World War III is, 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 signifies destruction, death, uh, fa you know, just in, total annihilation, all right? So we know we're because we, the the men of Yahab Hashem Yashai, hey, we got the spirit and we're measuring the time diligently, and we can see what's what's upon us, what's right before our eyes. You know, we're right around. You know, World War Three, the, the micro C hip is already at the door. World War Three is around the corner. All right. So with that, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Kudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, brothers.